Okay, this is April Cox, and I'm here today with Megan Christensen, and we are reviewing some of the pencil sketches that came back from Pencil Master, and um, I thought it was really good lesson to be able to go through this together, because what Megan is doing and how she's using this special tool of using Shutterfly and some of the features there, I think is really inspiring and can help people you know, envision what their book is going to look like. So thank you, Megan, for being willing to walk us through this. Yes, it's been really fun. Okay. So what I've done is I've kind of just taken the sketches from Pencil Master and then I've put them in to my Shutterfly. And my font and everything is still not where I want it in the placement and things, but I feel like this way I can really mess around with it and I can really um, tweak it and try to figure out where exactly I want it on the sketches. So, and then also I have these side columns, which I wanted to see what do they really look like and do they get in the way of the story themselves or not? So this is kind of what I've done. And then April, this is the sketch that I was talking about on the right. With yep. the, I love that. I love it. So, so uh, what is it that you love about that sketch when you're talking about? Um... I love that it's sketched. <laughs> I see. I love so, that it's just like, it's just sporadically drawn up there, sketched, that the picture frames aren't perfect, that everything's not like a computer drawn line. I see. I okay. I love that feel. And that's kind of the feel that I'm trying to get through the whole book. I where see. it's not like they took a computer and just like started a line here, drew it over and ended it. But it's like, so on the left side, those lines are just too straight and too perfect. Yep. The door and the little cabinets in the back, like, I don't want them, I don't want anything to look like that. I want to I be see. like, it's just hand drawn. And what about the boys? The boys, I do like the boys because I feel like they still have that kind of sketch feel to them. Like they're not, they're not realistic. Right. You know, looking cause they're kind of cartoony and things. Okay. Um, and like where his like shoulder bent or his little armpit is like that's kind of sketched out and his hair is kind of you know sketched right, out. Right, right, right. Okay. So I think the boys are good. Like because the boy in the sketch drawing, of course, can't look like that. <laughs> so just to just for the benefit of those that are watching this on a replay, um, you have taken the sketches that Pencil Master uploaded to a folder and drop them into this, what is this feature called? It's called Shutterfly. So it's shutterfly.com and I've just made a hardcover photo book. Oh, okay. So you, yeah. so you, you took the photo book mm -hmm. and started dropping things into a photo book and that gives you the opportunity to see the page turns. And I love the way that you have these, um, side or the, the very things on the side tell me with the facts mm -hmm. and things like that. So it gives you an opportunity to see how all that's going to come together. Yeah. And it's really nice because you can choose your sizing. So this is an eight and a half, eight and 11, eight by 11 book. So I okay. can see kind of how big my pages are and things like that, which is really helpful. So it's eight by 11, not eight and a half by 11. Yeah. That's all they have is eight by 11. Oh, so okay. it'll be a little different when I actually, so it'll, it'll give you a little bit more room. That's, that's, I think that's fine. Yeah. Which is nice. Okay. So what I wanted to show you though, of kind of, so this is the page where they kind of had the factory where he was arriving. Okay. And then I just asked them to make the factory um, look different, but then they completely changed it. So, so you, so, and sometimes, you know, I just want to highlight that um, we, it, it's not easy to make the, the vision of what's in our brains as authors um, appear in the brains of illustrators. And sometimes the illustrators have, you know, a lot, like I, I know when I went through it with uh, Len, that I was asking for specific things in some places. And he said, it's not easy to do what you're asking, but take a look at this instead. And when, and in most, I'd say nine out of 10 times that he did that with me, um, I loved it and, and it was fine. But there are times, and we've even come, come across things where um, on one of the projects, we said, you know, they're, the two kids are in a pool. Um, and we're picturing a kiddie pool uh, with slime in it. Yeah. And they, they drew like an Olympic size swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah. but you can see how 
pull to me might have meant something different to them. Absolutely. And, and, and so that. whenever we can have reference images, mm -hmm. like when I, when I add comments and say, you know, and this is going to have a pool, what I'm starting to learn is highlight that, put a link on the word pool and go grab a reference image that, you know, of like on, on Google images and say this so that when they click on it, it goes and shows them what kind of pool you're talking about. Yeah. That's Things like cool. that. It will help. It will really help save time back and forth time. Can you do links in the Dropbox comments? Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yep. I'll do that. The other thing that I really love about using this Shutterfly is like, see, this is supposed to be page 15, but when I actually put it in with the text, I was like, I like this image better than what he had here. So, I, and I actually ended up just changing this page with the other page. Right. So it was nice. And, this, and you, and if I remember correctly, you used this feature for your book dummy too, yes. which gave you a really good, and you threw clip art in it and stuff. So now you went from a clip art dummy book to now dropping in some of these images and seeing how the, um, how the flipping is, is working. Yeah. It's so wow. Fun. I love that factory. I know. Me too. I love it. But my only thing for him was these people, I want them facing me instead of looking at their backs. I want them to be on the other side of the conveyor belt so we can see what they're doing. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I, I really love this. And I love it because I also can see like, okay, this side needs to be this size of a picture. But right. But then it fills the whole page. Yeah. So then I know my sizes and things. Yeah. But um, okay, so I want to show you what I kind of worked on last night. So would you like me to stop recording so that we can just talk specifically about your project here? Sure, that would be great. Or It's either that or what we could do is I could be recording your feedback here and I can share it with Pradeep, and, but I'll cut it off sooner for people that are just looking at this tool. Sure. Okay, yep, that's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Okay, so let's see. So this is what I did. So normally I just had this one page, this page 26, which I think he did such a great job with and I love it. Mm -hmm. But I added this page 27 with more ideas of how Benji could get down. Oh, okay. So I added that because I think it would be so fun if, and I also think it's fun to add these other kind of crazy, just to like accentuate like this kid's a dreamer, you know, like. Right. It's like a little crazy. And I just loved what he did on page 26. That I just wanted more of that. But then I really did it because I want this, which I'm so excited about. Oh, I love it. So I think it would be so fun if I could turn the book and then you could see like all seven or whatever of the guys. Yeah. Like this big, this big, because I really love the factory in this picture and I don't want to lose. Yes, I love it. I think it's so fun to turn the book. Yeah, and then that, that text would go like in the top right over here, right? Yeah, and so um, then you see like, whoa, like it just kind of shows like, oh my goodness, like look how high they had to get, you know? Right. So I love that. Can you go back to the previous page? Yep. Um, when I look at this, what I, what I want to see is where the, where the um, Santa Claus and the reindeer is. Yeah, like, I want Wally like with his hand on his uh, like hmm thinking, and these things are all coming from Wally. But I want to see Wally. You want to see Wally actually thinking them? Okay, I like that. I mean, I that's just like it just dawned on me that um, if we've got two pages, we should have a place to be able to put Wally, and yeah. then you've got you've got uh, six things to, that he can be thinking. Okay, I love that. That's a great idea. Okay. I'm just going to throw him in there really quick. Is that okay? Or just like, just so if you do show this to Pradeep, then he can see. Somewhere over there. Yeah. We'll just put a text box here. That's and you could probably even just copy and paste one of the other little, little images of Wally. Um, but I feel like he's got to be like thinking, you know, like, hmm. I don't, you know, like a, a thoughtful look. <laughs> okay, cool. And even doing something like that, right? We just wrote, 
that he needs to have a thoughtful look. Now, I might understand in my mind what that means. Uh huh. You might understand, <laughs> but, but it gets it can very easily get lost in translation, especially right. when we're going from English to another language. And we're going right. from one culture to another culture. So that's another area that I would highlight and put a hyperlink. Find mm -hmm. a thoughtful look of, you know, a cartoon character with that kind of thoughtful look that you're okay. looking for and link it. Okay. Otherwise, you might have to go back and forth again. And, you don't, and anything you can do to avoid that will really help. Okay. I love that idea. And I love having him there, like, just hmm, thinking in the bottom. Okay. So that's kind of, that's like the main thing that I just wanted to be like, ah, don't work any farther because okay. I need this to be the correct format. Okay. Size. And I don't know, I mean, adding this page, I don't know how Pradeep's going to feel. Maybe he'll oh, say. he'll be fine. He'll be fine with it. Um, okay. for, I mean, when you think about it, you're adding an extra page, which you already know how much price per page is. Right. So, or price for the spread or whatever. So it would just be the same, you know, additional cost of whatever that is. Right. But um, I can tell you, I know that what Pradeep top priority for, for Pencil Master is always the best book. Yeah. You know, it's part of putting together something that's going to make you um, shine, but also to demonstrate what they can do. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's really cool. I don't know if he's ever had a feature like this in a book. I just started seeing them like at the library more and more. And I thought, I want that. <laughs> yep. So I think it's really cool. I so, love it. I love it. Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at. And then. And that's the only changes. That was my only changes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, mean, I, have, I have changes to their, um, to their batches, you know, yeah comments and things but in my actual book book that's my only like adding pages and things that's all that I okay have. so um I think that's brilliant 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 I love it at 3 a.m <laughs> <laughs> well I think you are you have a visual uh definitely a good visual um artist kind of eye so I I think this is going to be great It'll be fun. Okay, well, I'm trying to think what other questions I have for you. I just got to figure out the font. Right. So let me go back to here because I want to talk to you about this. Okay, so. Like, how do I. Like, one, I don't like this font at all. I'm okay. trying to figure out my feelings about this font. But how do I get it so it's like not so like this page is totally fine just to have words at the top like that's totally fine right but how do i get it where like his dad his dad's dad his dad's dad's dad like it's labeling these photos of the dads you know almost in the font in the words and like this i think is fine i think that's good to can have you go back to what you were just saying um labeling the photos because i was thinking that yeah. that there's a uh, a matted like there's a mat around and on the bottom like this is inside the i'm pointing to my screen as if you can see me <laughs> like um, in here yeah so that there's like a mat you know like in other words like if you have a a five by eight um but then it's in an eight by ten frame so you've got you know what i mean by a mat around it yeah. it's like a border around it mm -hmm. and at the bottom of the the mat it's like labeling who it is and they're like uh birth date die date you know like because it's important to them that they have they capture this history uh-huh yeah is i that, like that idea is is that what you were what were you thinking well i'm that's what i'm trying to figure out how to do it because if i go back here i'm just trying to figure out how to do this because i love this one but then how would my font be like, how would I, he's always dreaming of becoming like, and then how would I make it so you're still reading his dad, his dad's dad, his dad's dad's dad, when it's set up like this. So maybe what I need is I just need the font and I just need to label them dad, dad's dad, dad's dad's dad. Right. Because I don't know how to get, I don't, I don't know how to do this setup where you would read that. Right. With, you know, 
with the I, I think that's the, you know that's the only thing I can think of is yeah. is actually making it part of the the border around the photos. Right. Um, and you see that like if you're going into uh, or when you look at um, they're walking down the hall of the White House or of a yeah. of a thing that where you've got you know the label of the name of the person and their birth and, and you know birth date end date or something like that so at least you know these are you know the people that are on the wall because you wouldn't know otherwise right so it, it also i love the way that they have put it so that it's it's a tree that was a good idea yeah. how you envision that and mm -hmm. i think they did a good job of of pulling it together yeah and i like yeah i just love just the difference in these two i just feel like they're just very very this one's just like too, uh, too copy and pasted, too rigid, too, yeah. I, everything about it, I don't like. And, and I know you uh, shared, you shared feedback with us about the, the way, the sketchy type of a, of a look that you want this to have for the backgrounds and things. So yeah. I think, I think he'll understand that when we, when we, when he yeah, replaces he it here like right here this looks great now i love that right he like did it with the wall the wallpaper in the background love yeah. that so yeah it's just, and i think that's fine we'll just give him a little bit of a reminder that that those things just need a little bit of a tweak and i'll let him know that um today and tomorrow you're going to go through and make sure your comments are on here and then monday that they should go and look for these yeah. comments before they start getting too far ahead of themselves with coloring. Yes, absolutely. And what does this mean? Do you know? Uh, sister. Does it say sister ref required? I don't know. What yes. That is that a sister? Yeah, I think it is. So. Because it says yes. he does a secret handshake with his sister. But yep. she needs to be much more detailed because look at everybody else. Right. They they don't know what his sister looks like. So they're trying oh, to say they want the picture. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so that's that that's their note to you to say uh, you gave us a picture of Wally and you gave us a picture of, of his little brother, but we didn't have we don't have anything to base this little girl on. Okay, okay, I get that. Okay, cool. Um okay. Yeah, how do I tell them like this is too zoomed in? Do I just say that? I think you I think you just speak plainly. What are you thinking? It just feels well when I go to this. When I see it here. Yeah, let's see how the page turn looks. I mean it looks okay. I just want him not to be so like in my face when I turn the page, you know? Right. So in my mind, focus it was is good, but he needs to be shrunk down a little so that he's not taking up the whole page there. Yeah. And like, I, I'm trying to figure out like in my mind, it was more like he was on a path through like a neighborhood type thing, which I love the houses. I love them. I love the yeah. trees. Too. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out like, well, I really love this, but I do. I just think maybe he's too big. And then we'll I think it's his head that's too big. It's mostly his head. Yeah, yeah it's like a, it's way oversized, and I think it's you know there was they wanted to put some, you know, like a um, I don't know cartoonish character, like a exaggeration of of right. that feature. But I think I don't think it works well. I think it, you know, and plus the round rounded nature of his face, I can see how mm -hmm. that would be something that would bother you. Yeah, because like this guy right here. Like he's got a bigger head than his body, but it's, but not, it's not so big that it's like triple the size yeah. of what it should be. Yeah. And then like these people in the background, will they just always be little shadows like that? Um, good question. Okay. Why don't we just highlight that and make a note and say, you know, what do you, I don't think so. I think they just sketch. That's just the sketch part. They'll, they'll do. So if you have, specific you know guidance of of something that's important to you um i think the most important pieces here are looking really really good yeah 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 oh yeah it looks great and i don't care what these people look like it just okay looks... okay just as long okay. as that's the case but yeah they're not going to be there with with little stick bodies yeah okay i think this is awesome though <laughs> yeah it is, you, it is. Want them hidden, you know you don't want it to be like 
oh, there, you know, you right. want to go back and be like, hey, he was on every page. That's so cool. So, okay, cool. Well, I think that's all I have then. I mean, so one, one thing I do want to say, um, because I am recording this for Pradeep uh -huh. also, is um, I'd like to just highlight here, Pradeep, that if you look at the side view of this boy, it, it looks so different than what Wally looks like in some of the others. Um, so whoever, you know, I think they could use your help with profile of Wally yeah. um, because uh, it's not looking good from a side view. Yes. And that this and that one looks to looks very different. Like that one, he almost looks like a toddler, but that could be just a very early stage. This one is gorgeous. This is my favorite of all the Wallies. Yep. So I Wally love did, that. So, so yeah. Pradeep, if you could just make sure that Wally looks consistent and if you could make a note that this is the favorite look of Wally and his head, he's got a big head, but it's not like a humongous head. Yes. We want, so we want him to look really cute and this does perfectly. Yep. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So, so you've got your, you've got your, um, work cut out for you yes, for, I do. <laughs> to be able to make these comments and, um, I'll just, just, uh, uh oh my God, that is so gorgeous. <laughs> I so love that. This is a way different Wally too. So, you know, I'm trying to figure it all out. Like his eyes are way different. Yeah, that is true. Um, and you do or do not like the freckles. I don't think I like the freckles. But the, and the one that you said you really loved didn't have freckles, did he? No. Okay. So I think we just need to make sure that, that, that is, um, no freckles. Yeah. No freckles. Yeah. So any, and just remind on the pages, just remind them about that. If you see freckles, just, or make a note, um, to make sure that it, it aligns with the look of whatever page this is. Page 12. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, so I'm excited because it sounds like they're really making great progress on your book and that you're going to be seeing a whole bunch more stuff coming your way very soon. It's so exciting. And this is incredible. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy that you're happy. And I would just say, Megan, that sometimes when we were getting things from artists, like artists are people who work really hard to take the vision that's in their brain and get it on the paper. So one of the three other reasons why I would like to share this, um, you know, our feedback with the artist, whoever it is that's done the work on this, mm -hmm. it's easy to look at all of our comments and think we don't like what they're doing, but oh, we love, love it. it. It is so yeah. amazing and it's so um, perfect, but you're focused more on the little pieces that just need to, be tweaked or something in order to give you everything that, you know, to finalize the book. And we don't say it often enough with artists, uh, but I want Pradeep to know and I want the artists to know that we really, really think that this book is gorgeous. Truly. It's so great. Don't take any of my comments <laughs> as it's just all negative because there is a lot that I love. And I've been trying to point those out too, the things that I just love, because I think this okay. one is incredible. Yes. There thanks. are many, many things that make me very excited. Yes, so yes, thank yes. You, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the recording and um, are, are we all set or do you want me to hang on for a few more minutes? I think we're all set. I think we're great. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. And I'll go through all of this and try to, get them all in one spot for them. So sounds perfect. Thanks, Megan. Have a great so, day.